Were there any challenges in co-writing the book House of Secrets? House of Secrets, seen here in its UK edition, was incredibly fun to write. Of course there were challenges. The main challenge for me was writing something for a middle grade audience as opposed to a young adult audience. There are things you can write about for seventh graders that you can't write about for third graders. Your other works involve bits and pieces of your actual life. Is this book 100% fictional or did real life creep in some? Any book is going to take from your real life and House of Secrets is no exception. However, since House of Secrets involves a group of kids who fall into a fantasy world, it's not that similar to my real life. Where I took from the Vizzini history was in the bickering that the siblings engage in. A lot of the fights that the kids have in this book are based on real fights that I had with my brother and sister growing up. How did the idea for this book come about? The idea for House of Secrets came from Chris Columbus, who directed Harry Potter, the first two movies, and uh, wrote The Goonies and Gremlins. So he's got a lot of good ideas, and he had a vision, living in San Francisco, where he's been for decades, of a house floating in the San Francisco Bay. And he wasn't sure how it got there or what would happen to it, but he wanted to write something about that. And that vision was the original inspiration for House of Secrets. What is your writing process? For example, do you write it down with a pen and paper and then type it out digitally? I haven't written anything longhand for a while. My writing process involves me and my computer and a lot of early mornings. Was there anything in particular that inspired you before or during the writing process? Yes. I was inspired by some of the stories that inspired Denver Kristoff, who is the character in House of Secrets, who is the writer. He was a writer in the early part of the 20th century, sort of like H.P. Lovecraft or Robert E. Howard or Ray Bradbury, someone who wrote pulp adventure stories, horror stories, scary stories. And sometimes during the writing of House of Secrets, I'll take a break and I will read an H.P. Lovecraft story to remind myself of the power of that kind of storytelling. If you had to choose one word to sum up the book, what word would that be? Hunter S. Thompson once... Do that question again. That's a lot of words already. Yeah. If you had to choose <laughs> one word... Chaos! <laughs> Do you have any news on upcoming events or other works? Yes. By the time you see this, this event may have happened, but on Wednesday, April 24th at 7 p.m., Chris Columbus and I will be reading from House of Secrets at Barnes & Noble Union Square in Manhattan. That will be our big New York event, so please come on down if you can. This has been a Toast Pop exclusive.